All right, Felipe and Sylvia, we wanted to, uh, the tenants are moving in today, so we wanted to kind of document the condition for our benefit and also so you could see what a move-in ready house is. Um, this was a big project, a lot more time than we thought. Um, anyway, the yard looks fabulous. You can see that tree's been all nice and trimmed up. I'm going to miss a lot of the stuff that we've done, but you'll, you'll see the condition of the house. It's really what we want to document. All new light fixtures look good. The grass looks fabulous. House looks nice and happy, crisp and clean, nice happy yellow with white trim. We just planted a few more uh, ground covers in here to dress up the front. Just to kind of finish it off. The garden looks great. Get into a little shade so you can maybe see this a little better. We'll uh, trim down the front hedges so as soon as these back ones grow a little bit more. Crepe myrtle we've just trim trimmed up. That'll be a beautiful flowering specimen tree in about another year. But the yard looks great. Really, really good. And again, we wanted to document the condition so that if the tenant ever has a question about the condition we left the, or we presented the home to them, we've got a We've got a record of that. Donna's doing some touch-up. <laughs> I was, but the phone rang. Yeah, you can see how clean it is. All nice and painted white. New water heater. You know, we didn't paint the garage floor, but it's broom swept and that's fine. If you remember, if you look at the original video, you can see how dirty the walls were. This looks, this looks great. Got a new piece of plywood up there. New door over here. If you remember, that one is all rotten. Okay, washer dryer hookups ready to go. So this looks great. This palm tree is going to have to go. It's dead. Didn't make it, but uh, we'll have that removed at some point. If you remember, along the fence here was all really overgrown, almost half the yard. So that's been cut back. Now the tenant's going to be taking care of his own lawn, and we've stipulated they have to keep it trimmed. So we'll check on that, and if they don't keep the yard up, we have the right to uh, start cutting the grass and charge them an extra 50 bucks a month. There's the timer box for the irrigation. There's the new backflow preventer for irrigation. This hibiscus was here. It blooms really well. AC is in nice shape. We had an old palm tree right there that we've just recently taken out. These oak trees were all overgrown with vines as you can see we've trimmed it way back they were over the house and hopefully that'll be good bromeliads actually were blooming now the backyard we seeded and just put hay down um, you know it hasn't grown in real well it's a real hot time of year we've cut the irrigation back now we were watering it every day but you know it's not perfect but it will you know it's a lot better than it was and that'll continue to grow in and get thicker over time so um, you know, it's better than it was. Some of these trees back here, we will probably end up having to either take out or really prune. You can see a lot of dead wood on them. Those citrus trees are probably not worth much. You know, we're not going to spend any money on them right now. A couple of them are okay. Some of them are just not going to make it. So, you know, over time, those will be, those will be taken out. There's your new sliding glass door really good we just washed the patio slab you know that kind of hurt us a little bit not having a covered patio you know sometime you might want to build a pergola if you ever go sell it or something for shade but um, you know this isn't as nice as the front yard you can still see a lot of hay where there's seed under that you know maybe over the next few weeks and months it'll it'll sprout but at least it's a yard that the children can use uh, and it's a little greener than it was we did cut way back into the overgrown area hopefully the tenants will keep that trim back okay all right we'll do a brief walk through the inside again just to pretty much document condition here's our little crepe myrtle tree it's gonna be really pretty yellow house with pink flowers in front
here. Got your new light there. Front door was all painted and caulked up. Looks good. Don even cleaned your welcome door knocker. Yeah, that door's in nice shape now. Painted the walkway here. New hardware, new locks. All right. This house is 100% ready to go. Got a new fan, light kit. Tile floors look good. The tile guy didn't get all the grout off when he when he installed it. So it's a little bit of a haze we've never been able to get off, but over time that'll work itself out. You remember how that air conditioner whistled so badly? Now it doesn't. In fact, I'll turn that down so you can hear it. As we go through. There you go. Nice and quiet. Isn't that nice? That whistling drove everybody crazy during the rehab project. Here's your new door, your new blinds. Looks good. Here's the view out back. Pretty nice. Let's see how the blinds and balances look. Okay. We've tested all the appliances, they work perfectly. Got new window blinds here, new light fixtures, new appliances, all ready to go. Nice and clean and tested. Really nice. All the new plumbing, all the new sink and faucets. If you remember when we first turned that old faucet on, it sprayed all over the window. So that's really nice. It's a really good little house. The blinds up there. Painted the inside of the door per your request. So that looks great. You know, we've replaced quite a few of the air vents. They were filthy and awful. We saved some, we replaced some. So they all look really nice now, nice and clean. Bathroom's all finished. Just did a little touch up caulking. Everything's all brand new, beautiful. See the mirror, new light fixtures. Got that piece of plexiglass up there on the skylight. Remember how you can see all the way up there? It's all perfect. Nice and shiny and clean. Ready for our family. Nice detail work. It's all brand new. Okay, floors are in perfect condition. All the trim is in perfect condition. All right. Then the master bedroom again. New blinds. Brand new carpet. Brand new padding. Perfectly clean, smells great. Painted all the doors. Looks brand new. Here in the master bathroom, the tile that we inherited is in perfect condition. Vanity and faucet, perfect. Got a new mirror, new light fixtures. Put new towel racks up. Just got done grouting around the tub. There were some cracks along the bottom, but now it's perfect. Put a new shower head in. New paper holder. Okay. It's all perfect. So there you have it. Um, this is a nice little house now. Here's the front bedroom, nice and bright. Beautiful wall color. Some window blinds. So uh, we think this uh, tenant's going to be really happy here, we hope. 
we never know. But uh, they've got a really nice house to live in. I'll post this so you can see it on YouTube, just to have it for fun. And uh, next time you see this a video of this house, will be after tenants move out. We'll see what kind of condition they left it in. All right, thanks.